Hi, this is a short video wherein I want to show you how the UF8 of solid state lodging works together with the UC1 uh, plug-in controller. According to SSL, this doesn't work together. This is because the UF8 works with the Mackie control scripts and UC1 works by communicating directly with the plugin. And there's at least at this moment no way they can work in tandem and which is really uh, i'm sorry for that because uh, it would be awesome if it could work that way but well i managed to make it work by um, um, making sure this button i changed the mackie control script so this button does also change the selected track so i can walk through my tracks and I know the selected track it's now this one when you go all to the left and then it will stay the first one as you can see so it's very uh, convenient you always know where you are and now um, the UC1 can follow as well the only thing you uh, have to make sure is that the uh, plugin window which is the quick button, it's the default uh, uh, assignment, quick button 3, opens the window. And as you can see at the plugin, it changes along and you can see it as here as well. It follows nicely. This is the only way it works. If you um, select, for instance, another channel, uh, Studio One and the UF8, they don't respond uh, at all. If you do it manually with a mouse, um, the UC1 will follow because the um, plugin window is open. But I think this is uh, this is okay that you only use this one because it's, it's it's really quick. I can see very quickly where I am am in the project, and when I select one, I know the first one here will control the fader and this one will also be on the right channel as well. So I think it's a perfect solution. Like I said, the plugin window needs to be open. Uh, it can happen that you are on a channel where you have worked on another uh, VST like this one and then that one is active and I'm not sure if it follows. No, it won't follow. But as soon as you change the plugin, which you can do here with the plugin button activated and with the arrow buttons, which you have to click once uh, on the window like this, and then you can change. And as soon as you do that, um, it will uh, jump to the right channel. So yeah, if you see this one, you can be sure of it that this one is on the same channel it's the only downside i cannot fix that it's by design but uh, for me to work like this is is great another thing i um, programmed but this you have to do in studio one with the uh, knob assignments that when i uh, have the plugin active and i change the plugin here I have a stereo widener and the saturation knob. Then here the encoders, they are mapped. So that way it's very easy to use uh, all the plugins. Once mapped, you have to save it as a default and then you can map them like this um, to have your missing features like saturation or stereo widening or other uh, stuff you can uh, do it like this i think the way it works right now for me is very uh, acceptable it's i think it's great uh, i haven't done a project uh, but i will uh, get it to good use uh, very soon uh, one short note i also changed this one for uh, transport as i showed in the other video so i can play stop record and cycle on and off these buttons can be used for your transport and once i uh, this one is lit it's it's a zoom function so th this is still original and i changed this set okay that's for now the um 
Mackie console XML uh, script is on uh, Gearspace. I will uh, put a link in the description and where to find it. And uh, yeah, for me this is this is just great. If if I couldn't get it to work like this, I think I would have sent them both back because uh, the uh, soft tube uh, console and fader combo works like this, and it's it's awesome. Uh, but I, I I like SSL more. But I was very uh, disappointed it uh, couldn't work together. Uh, but now it can, uh, at least for Studio One. I think the um, changes in XML script are also usable in other DOS, but I have no experience with that. I know, for instance, for that Ableton uses Python, so it's different. Um, no experience there, but I guess since it was a fairly uh, simple uh, solution, I think it's uh, it can also work for other DOS as well. Uh, should anyone wants to know how I did it, I can. Uh, I, I, I'm uh, more than happy to tell you how, so you can uh, try to uh, make it work on other doors as well if you have some uh, experience over there. Okay, see you next time. Bye.